sorry, day today. Start my day off with a little bit of yoga before cleaning in anticipation of David's arrival. He's coming back. I'm excited. Yoga is such a good way to start the day. I always feel amazing after a yoga session. Just uh, discovered this super fancy local spot. It's obviously very popular. We stood in line for maybe 30 minutes just to get this plastic table. And there is no menu. You just go and choose the seafood that appeals to you and then the way that it's prepared is also up to you and then boom, they bring it to you and it's magic. And we're both starving so very excited for this. Thank you for the recommendation. Anytime. Oh, yeah. Yes. Another beautiful day in Las Palmas. And today, we're going sailing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not just any sailing. Fast sailing. Really fast. Are you ready, Dad? We sure yeah, hope we're gonna go fast sailing. We got about 10 to 15 knots of wind and we're hoping we can do better than that at speed. We're not hoping, we're gonna do it. But first, breakfast with our neighbor, Robert. We got a melon. We've got the melon. Hot coffee. Good morning, Robert. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Happy nice seeing you. <laughs> lovely breakfast here at our neighbor's boat before we go for a lovely sail. Hi. All right. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Thanks for doing the dishes, Dad. We're on our way, San Jose. On our way. Hello. Hi, Looking forward to another incredible day of sailing on the Ineffable Trimaran. Built for speed. This boat can go faster than the wind which is very exciting. My parents are gonna really enjoy the experience. They love sailing, sail every week, and it'll be a thrill for them to exceed the wind speed. Hi, Hi. Hi Kelly. nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning. We're just putting all of our drinks away, and these right here, these are no bueno. So if you can't avoid them at a minimum, Break them up, cut them up, yeah. just in case, just in case. Yeah, give me the tool. Teamwork. All right, hold on, here's another one. Okay, oh. okay. now, it's still terrible, but not as dangerous. Oh, and another one. Success! Just making sure all the lines are taunt, the things are tied where they should be tied and loose where they should be loosened. So that he's from uh, Hull Sales. He goes around the world just doing the, the masts and the rigging for these type of boats. And so he's he's the expert. He's the just going in just for the job. Trim a bit more. Oh uh, yeah. So lightweight. Now we're moving. 12 knots probably. 13. Incredible. 18 knots. <laughs> Very far. No, we're missing out here, we're doing 16, 17 knots. Wrap around it, wrap an extra 
Okay, take them off. What happened? Uh, riding turn. Keep going. More. The problem is it's not going through the eye. Nice work. Yeah, seen it. Fair lead on the... Yeah, well we'll sort it out later. All right, I'll take over. Okay. Point two, 24.5. Sorry? Just ease it off far enough so it sits next to the other one and then preferably to windwards. Okay. Well, hold on, I've got a clutch here. Ah, uh, no, you can leave that on. <laughs> <laughs> You're not having fun, are you? It's good. Yeah. Let's get it right now. sheet on a little bit but not all the way. The team effort. Tight. Maneuvering into this harbor is very challenging for a boat of this size. There is not much room for error. Good fun. It's very cool, yeah? Very cool. It's always a nice time. I liked it. Maximum speed 19.3, average speed over two hours sailing 9.6, all here. Tip top. Tip top. <laughs> great, that was a back. great sail. Fantastic. Right. Oh my god, yes, well, I had my hair cut because I knew we were going very far today. The hairdresser, I mean, come on, let's do our hair. Loosening things so that we can tighten things. It's not the kind of thing typically people are messing with on their vessels, but we have a pro. They, they tie everything together with flexible string. And it's the same with turnbuckles or with, with pieces of rope. So you measure from the center? From the chain plate to, to a mark. On, on the turnbuckle. Oh. Details. Details. Lots of details. Mm, the tough part starts now. Just relaxing. Let's go. Okay, Taps. so here we are with Tropical La Limon. Is this a beer? Yeah, that's yeah. a cerveza. What I thought as well. In Poland, I had a. Wow. I back out of Poland. Whoa, that is so good. Taste that. Oh, that's good. Taste it. Yeah. Refreshing. Yeah. Woo! Great, yeah. Wow. Cheers. <laughs> Almost somebody lost a finger. No. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. Cheers. 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 The new island thing. No, the new boat. You're um, you're okay with being on my vlog, right? I don't know. It would be an honor. Yay. And then maybe one of these days I can take you guys out sailing on Starship. Oh, what a thrill. Do you have a big fridge? <laughs> <laughs> you got any ice? 
Well, we've just been initiated into the 20 nautical mile club and that means we need to celebrate! Yeah. It's an exciting morning. Very exciting. Oh no. <laughs> Very exciting. There. David's back. Everything is better. And today is round one of our safety inspections. So that means that we get to review with an expert our safety gear setup for our Atlantic crossing. And here's where we're at. Got a drogue, a horn, safety tethers, and an entire jackline system, two sets of binoculars, bare antenna, a life vest with lights, a variety of flares, radar reflectors, many, many, many flashlights. We have lots of safety stuff. Hopefully the right safety stuff. We shall find out. I'm back. And to celebrate, Kelly and I participated in a local reforestation project. Many years of deforestation has left Grand Canaria and similar islands with less rainfall, more erosion, and resulting economic troubles. It feels good knowing that someday the trees we planted will be part of a healthier island ecosystem. Toolkit needs to stay packed away. Today's an exciting day. 